Okay, this video is um, a response video to a question posed by one of my um, viewers. It was on one of my older videos, one of my first videos, I think. How I went to school and worked at the same time. I did answer this in a number of other videos, but I'm not going to um, ask people to go sift through the videos. I'm, I'm not like that. I, I will try to answer that, you know, or if there's a specific video like this one that's going to address that topic, I could do that. But I don't have one. I don't believe I have one. So this video is basically how I went to school and worked. Um, and for the purposes of this video, working means full-time, not part-time. You're not um, just pulling 20 hours, 10 hours, you know, you're, you're doing 40, 40 plus hours. And I did. I, I, I actually worked two jobs and uh, went to school at the same time. And each job was more of a part-time in that sense. So together, I, I, I equate that to a full-time. I was able to do that because one of the jobs, I was the boss. I was the owner of the business. I did. I made my own hours, basically. And I had a crew that I could do that. Just because you're your own boss doesn't mean that you work less. It means you work more. You know, people that own their business, so that doesn't, you know, mean anything, right? I said, like, I, I know, no, I, I had been running the business for so long that I had a good crew trained uh, under me, and, and financially, we were able to do that, afford that. The other uh, job I had was as a nursing tech, and that is, even though it was part-time, like 20 hours a week, um, it was owners you know anyone who's uh, a nursing tech now or or knows of it, it is it's it's not an easy gig it's by no means an easy gig you know it's very physically grueling um and as an outsider i had no experience i didn't know a syringe from a bedpan you know really and i was, I was like what i don't know so it was to get experience it was to get connections and that was really the main thing is to get connections uh because it's not what you know it's who you know uh, you know anyone in this any kind of business will say that, that that's that, it's networking so it, and it did work out i got the job right after graduation you know i was you know the manager literally had hr call me that day you know um but the other key, key puzzle of the equation is the fact that I went to an ADN school. It's an associate's degree school. It's junior college, community college, however you want to call it. It didn't require me to go full time and devote full time. Like, like let's say you were in a four year college scenario, like a BSN, traditional BSN, not an accelerated BSN. I'll, I'll talk about that in a few seconds. Uh, but a, a traditional BS. And you're a college student. That's your job. You know, as like I say to my kids, your job is not to work part-time here or there. If you want if you want to, that's great. And, and, and by and large, they all do. But your first and foremost job is college. Pass your classes, get A's, get as high as you can, and, and you know, whatever. You want to work, that's great. Spending money, whatever you want to call it. You know, experience, that's great but get your college education. This is what we're paying, you know, parents are paying tuition for. Um, besides that, you know, as a, as a, but as a, at, not besides that, but at a community college level, they are expecting you to work. That's kind of that population, that demographic, right? That, you know, you're working your way through college. You're going there to get a cheaper tuition, Transferring those two years to a four-year college and then getting, you know, saving. It's, and it's, it's a great scenario. I highly recommend it. I wish I did it. I wish my all my kids did it. Only a couple did it. And saved me a lot of money. So by be, being in an ADM program, it was already inherently, for lack of a better word, easier. You know, nursing school for me was not difficult. Doing the two jobs and nursing school and family, yes, it was very difficult. And at the time, I had issues because I was selling the business. More time was required of me. Now, I'm not including pandemic. That that occurred after I graduated, um, basically. Um, diploma programs, let's say that, I, I think you can. From what I've always talked to a couple people, because they're, they're rare around the, here, and what I've seen is that you're in 
the hospital environment. You basically work, most of them work as a tech or, or some kind of medical assistant or something in the system. So they're working that and going to school and able to pull that off. A traditional BSN, you could only pretty much do part-time, like I'm saying. It's the accelerated one where I think a lot of people, especially the older ones, are asking, like, how do you work and do that? I do not recommend that. I'll say flat out, I don't recommend any of the BS, accelerated BSN programs and you to work. Again, full-time. If you can pull up part-time, it's like, you know, 10 hours a week, 12 hours a week, 20 hours a week, tops. So be it. You're not going to, you're going to be freaking miserable because those accelerated BSN programs are no freaking joke. They're squeezing it much too quickly in my opinion. Frankly, I, a 12 month, I mean, there's a couple of 12 month accelerated, but I don't like those. You don't get enough clinical time in my opinion. You just don't because hospitals decide your clinical time, not the school. And you just don't have enough experience. We've seen, I've, I've seen them come through the unit and I'm like, you don't know shit. Holy crap. Scary. You know, they float or travelers or what have you. I'm just like, mm mm. And, and, and by, or they're students still. And we're like, what? Your fourth year? I'm, I'm thinking they're first years. And they're like, what? You mean, what do you mean your fourth year? You're a senior. You, you know, it's just, just help me with this. Oh, I, I don't know how to do that, whatever. I'm like, whoa, in a few months, you're going to do this on your own. So some of them I'm a little questioning. I, I mean, I'm sure you pass in class, you, you, you know, by that time the training's good, you know, and you're going to learn on the floor. That's great. I prefer the ADNs, the diplomas, the diplomas being the best trained, in my opinion, followed by the four years and, and the ADNs because there's enough time to get clinicals in, you know. Um, actually, ADNs could probably finish it in a year and a half, just like the accelerated ones. There's, there's no difference. The only thing we, we have to take later on is stupid leadership courses like I'm taking now. Um, so, you know, if anything, you get, it, it, most ADM programs have more training, in my opinion, clinical wise. Again, I'm, I'm measuring it by clinicals and people might give me flack for that. That's fine. Honestly, when the pandemic hit, it was not the didactics classes that held people back. It was the clinicals. I spoke to a number of chair people about their different programs and they were like no it's clinical we don't get you enough clinical we don't care what your grade is you can finish the classes remotely you need clinicals that's how they measure you that is how they say you're ready okay so that's why i'm like hmm taking that measure and these are nurses with 30 40 years experience and they teach for a living this is what they do you know and if they don't produce good nurses their programs get shut down. And that's measured empirically by NCLEX and out, outside. You know, they'll be like, I don't want to take your, your students. They're idiots. You know, that's happened. I've seen people say, no, 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 no. We're not taking you. Your guests at the hospitals, your guests at these, these, these care centers to get training. So, you know, you have to create a pro- quality product. Us, you know. So that's how I, I was able to go to school and and work um, that don't recommend it for everybody. Like I said, and try to pick your programs where you can get away with it. Uh, diplomas, ADNs, a nice, easy, I don't want to say easy, but it, it, with the, the, the four year program or a longer accelerated BSN program. And, and there are some that, that let you stretch it out. It's accelerated, but take three years to do it. It's not the four years. So any time it's less than four years, it is accelerated. But they, from what I've seen, those tend to be very pricey. So you have to measure that. I don't believe it's always worth the price. Sometimes it is. I've seen it where it is worth the price. And But by and large, I see it's not worth the price. Go with the cheaper program and then get your BSN later, you know, because your boss, your employer will probably pay for it. You know, that's that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm going for free. All right. Good luck.